Spencer, thank you. It looks pretty chilly out there, but you know what that means? It means it's cuddle weather. But even then, couples are still expected to fill the streets tonight and celebrate Valentine's Day. If those couples wanted a chance of getting a dinner reservation, they would have to have booked weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. Those couples weren't alone as local businesses have been prepping to sell those classic red and pink gifts. Citrus TV's Luke Welch reports. Well, Peyton, Zach, while the streets seem calm now, in just a couple hours, lovebirds will be lining the streets for this night's dinner rush. While Valentine's Day is known for a day of loving and compassion, it's also a day for the economy. Local businesses around the area are stepping up to get ready. February 14th, known around the world as the Day of Love, is also one of the biggest gift-giving holidays barring Christmas. And while couples do their best to find a gift for their significant other, vendors around the area make sure to be prepared. So we have several hundred orders going out today, um, which is a lot, and we've spent weeks up in advance pre-making a lot of orders, making orders to, um, or making arrangements to order. Um, as far as that goes, we've had 13 drivers that are over here delivering. A lot of them are students themselves. And while the workload stacks up weeks prior, those at Westcott Floors say they are ready for the task. Some stress, there is some panic, but it's just kind of like pushing through it. It's kind of just like taking that and putting it aside and getting everything done. And if you prefer a sweet taste as opposed to the smell of roses, well, the Syracuse community is just as stocked. I spoke with the head chocolatier at Speech Candy Store, which has been a Salt City staple for over a hundred years. Uh, well, Valentine's Day is our busiest day of the year. It typically means I'm not going to sleep for about 48 hours prior. <laughs> it can get a little stressful. It can get a little crazy um, when you have customers like all around you, when you have the phones ringing, when you have five or six drivers out with deliveries that you have to kind of maintain and watch over. It does become a little bit of a challenge. But... And as the store workers push through the hectic day, they can assure customers that tomorrow will be business as usual. In downtown Syracuse, I'm Nick Welch, Citrus TV News.